Black conservatives are not serious. Are they serious really? They seem to ignore the fact that a slave is any human who is forced to work and obey another and is considered to be their property. Slavery has been a universal institution for thousands of years as far back as you can trace human history. And what we're looking at is if slavery is something that happened to one race of people in one country, when in fact the, 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 the spread of it was around the world. And Welcome to my Fado Family Network channel, Hamiti Ibru Ethics. We are just about to celebrate our year 6260, which is the year to find your own grace because you have got the power within to do so. Come and celebrate with us. Please email us at join at marifado.com for more information. So that you can be able to unlock, absorb, adore thy ninefold soul, and rise up to the stars. Black conservatives forget the first law of nature. And they want you to also forget that law. The first law of nature teaches about self-preservation and conservation of your own energy. But when you look at the word comes from the Latin conservativas, it means to preserve. So we ask the black conservatives, what are they preserving? the status quo of white supremacy and their fight not to end white supremacy. The guru of black conservatism in America, Thomas Sowell, according to Sowell, he reaches that and says an ethnic or a racial group that emphasizes hard work, saving money, and acquiring an education will generally do well, regardless of the political or social climate now, he does not elaborate the the or reveal who owns the money who owns the work who owns the education who so has the system that is politically the controlling the earth and, and uh, who creates is, the social okay, climate system all black conservatives so do not deal with that they jump over that and they ignore issues like slavery to a point of being sorry to themselves what would black conservatives think about the new breed of black leadership in Africa, Colonel Asim Goita, current military leader of Mali, who upon assuming, assuming office and in two years expelled the French army, has broken colonial ties with France, he has banned French as a colonial language and banned any NGO that is funded by France. This is good. He is a conservative. That's what we want. Will black conservatives in America stop America from attacking such people. No, they don't. People and leaders like Captain Ibrahim Traore of Burkina Faso, who has banned uranium exports to France and to the United States, who black conservatives say that's it, keep it uh, like that, uh, Captain Ibrahim Traore. I hope so, but I don't think so, as we shall review shortly. Who is Candace Owens? Who is she married to? She's married to a European, comes from a rich family. George Farmer, who is Candace Owens' husband, who was born by Jenny Farmer and Lord Michael Farmer, Baron uh, in Britain, a British businessman, a former treasurer of the Conservative Party, and a philanthropist. That's why you hear Candace Owens now, who must change her name Candace anyway, and get another European name, not an African name. She said, maybe I live in a box. Yes, you do. That's very correct. But I've never met a single black American who was a slave or a single white American who was a slave owner. There is a slave owner for you. Just like Thomas Sowell, she also says she has only come across lazy people who believe that those of us who work ought to support them. What kind of thinking do we have among such people? Even Larry Elder, another black conservative in America, thinks that slave owners should also be paid the reparations. Look at how they back for their uh, breakfast. Larry Elder was married for two years to a female physician who wanted children and he didn't want children. So they divorced. The guru of black conservatives in America, 
Thomas Sowell was also married to a European, European woman. So that's why they can think the way they do. Because so things that underlying disparities originate from a rather inherited inequality is inherited by culture. This argument is perhaps one of the weakest and one of the worst that a scholar of such reputy as Thomas Sowell can give. Because it betrays that he has no historical and social scientific honesty or earnest or knowledge. He doesn't put into fact structural racism. He thinks that racism is not there. He, when he talks, you would think that racism is not there really. That you can work hard and achieve something. He also ignores facts like uh, that a Roosevelt administration in the 1930s refused to act against the discrimination of black people after uh, the war as the economy contracted and they were first to be laid off. He doesn't consider that. He doesn't consider that jobs were almost first allocated to Europeans. He, it was a legislation, it was a law that was there. He refuses to think in that line and consider that the Negro problem is not really a problem. Whereas black conservatives are oblivious to the re-enslavement of black Americans from the Civil War to World War II. You can read this book by uh, Douglas uh, Blackmon. He writes about that. There's also an American governor today known as DeSantis, who perhaps is a Portuguese or is an Italian, thinks that slavery benefited slaves. What kind of thinking is that? And black conservatives will say, yeah, 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 that's good, he's correct. That's what Candace Owen says. That's what Thomas Owen says. That's what Larry Elder says. That's what Walter Williams says. They think like that. They, they, they embrace such thinking in a shocking and unbelievable manner. Even housing, housing equity, there was redlining, a discriminatory practice that puts a services, financial and otherwise, out of reach for residents of certain areas based on their race or ethnicity. This is what these people think. They blame Southern culture and racial failure by all black conservatives when people are forced to live under harsh conditions systematically. They don't think in terms of system. They think in terms of what will bring them fame and what will give them money and what will put them in the media. When it comes to savings and when the Social Security Act was enacted in the 1930s, around 1935, it excluded farm labor and domestic work from qualifying as qualifying jobs. At that time, 90% of blacks were in farm or domestic labor. Therefore, they were unable to build their nest, just like their other white counterparts who received unemployment benefits, and our brothers were just thrown away. And black conservatives think, oh, that was good. Yeah, they should work hard. Work hard how in a system that is so evil. There are also a lot of young black Americans melanin dominant black american conservatives today that are embracing racists like trump because they think that the republicans are better than democrats if you think like that you are a problem in 1989 five black and latino boys were wrongfully convicted of raping a woman joking in new york city leading the charge against them was donald trump who bought full page advertisement in newspapers and they say bring back the death penalty and bring back our police of course i hate these people and let's all hate these people because maybe hate i am strongly in favor of the death penalty i'm saying if they're found guilty if the woman died which she hopefully will not be dying but if the woman died i think they should be executed when these youngsters were found innocent and not guilty he continued with his racist tone and his speeches. Black conservatives, they think that the uh, GOP is a different party. They ignore its disdain for black people, which is nothing new. Republicans have spent decades suppressing black votes and pursuing social services cuts and a tough on crime policies as draconian, if not more so, than any cooked up story of the Democrats. Of course, the Democrats are a failure. They are the same party anyway, because you look at uh, what Biden's policies have done. They do not work to date. They have, it has raised black unemployment 
higher for black youth, black men, and black women are higher by 7.17%, and he is targeting, and he is a racist anyway. Straightforward, there's no two ways about that. He is a racist. The same with Ronald Reagan. He was a governor, and he was talking to Nixon, and he said, black people, those African countries, damn them. That's what he said. They are still uncomfortable wearing shoes. He was quoted. There's a video. There's a voice mail that he said that. And you find one of the so-called educated fellas in America, smart, they tell us, neurosurgeon, they tell us, Ben Carson, who thinks that the GOP is a good party. He says, I think the Republicans have done a far superior job of getting over racism. Oh, my Lord, have mercy on such uh, thinkers. Black conservatism is not fallacious uh, because its adherents are stupid, sick, or brainwashed. It is fallacious because their conception of racism is not much different from that of most white conservatives. Just like Reagan, as we have pointed out, and Trump, as we have already shown, marked by delusion and a refusal to recon, honestly with the bigotry that has allowed them to survive all these years that has allowed it to survive all these years despite its growing unpopularity from other people when you look at justice system you find that two people commit the same crime and one gets 20 years and another gets five years probation another one gets prison sentence and one is black, one is white. It's happening today in America. And our black conservatives think America is very good. Such evil like this. Or George Floyd being choked by a policeman with his hands in his pocket and smiling all the way. You will find Candace Owen saying it was Floyd to blame. That's why black conservatism is to me and to many other clear thinking people a sellout scheme. And uh, people are being paid money. Not even once have we ever heard, and will we ever hear a black conservative, especially in America, condemning outrightly and clearly such cases of European police brutality, slavery, racism, injustice, or anything, but they give praise to Europeans. And they do not even praise any melanin dominant human being. They are our success in history or our success currently, whether it's in sport, whether in education, they don't. You listen to them, you would think that we have never been of any importance or any achievement or any contribution to civilization. Yet, Count Devone has said, just think that this race of black men, today our slave and the object of our scorn, is the very race to which we, including the Asians, the Indians, the Chinese, and everybody else, our arts, our scientists, and even the use of speech. Black conservatives will never tell you about that. Candace Owen will never look at that. She, she, she will jump quickly to look for an image of a European male. Are black conservatives serious? Yes, they are. They are very serious in selling us out. They are very serious in more subtle ways than one. They ignore the first law of nature, self-preservation. They ignore structural racism. They water down the impact and effects of slavery and colonization by generalizing that slavery was all over the world. That's what Thomas Sowell would say. Ah, oh, slavery was everywhere. Hey, look at history. But the pain of slavery and the destruction of our race is real. You can't generalize it. It's an idiotic argument to say, oh, slavery is for every race. That's an idiotic argument. Black conservatives suffer from self-hatred. They think themselves white. They might not say it outrightly and openly, but that's what they say by their behavior and their speech. They are Europeanized mentally. Yes, today, if you understand the gist of this YouTube video, you are on the cusp of something enormously powerful. Yes, you are. Such intuition may come perhaps once in a lifetime. Today is your chance to galvanize your life using the most powerful and the awesome tools you can ever have. Your identity as a melanin dominant human being and also your Ubuntu Ma'ati consciousness which is your spirit.
which activates your soul, your ninefold soul. These two will crank you up into someone unique. Millions will ask you, how are you doing it? And you will smile and they say, I discovered I come from the loins of the first and original humans to be created in the whole universe. If this is something, if you are interested and you want to learn some more, do not hesitate. Send us an email join at marfado.com Kwa manager topi please share by LM to me zulu kuni ken mjakanja say do not be trapped by black conservatives they are working for white supremacy and they are working against us ameni